Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. I swear it's 5k. I swear it's 1 in 5k. I swear it's 1 in 5k. I swear. Oh my god. Mama Dum 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 dum. Mama Hopefully it's not dropping. That's all I can say. Hopefully it's not dropping. Boys, I'm not even joking, Jen sold this for 22 mil. I've just told him to come in Discord. He, he doesn't know, he doesn't know how much it's worth. I've just told him, come on Jen, join. Please join. Please join. Oh. Hey up. You right, mate? Yeah, yeah. Uh, have you got OSPD open? Yeah, it's just open now, I. Uh, Do some Slayer, lad. Oh, a bit of Slayer. Um, yeah. On the, uh, on the right, on the Grand Exchange thing, yeah? Uh-huh. Type in Dragonfire Ward. You know, you know that visage that you got that it turns into that shield. I'm done. How much did you sell it for, by the way? Like twenty-five, I think it was. But it's gone up. But it's like thirty in it, something like that. <laughs> that's not right, Dave. Tell me that's that's not right. It's right. <laughs> it's ninety mil. <laughs> what? Why does this happen to me, Dave? This is <laughs> criminal injustice in the making. <laughs> What is this? What it happened, it happened with the imbued art, and now it's happened with this. I've lost out. On and you just, mil you just got hold. <laughs> he's gone. He's had enough. <laughs> oh, boys, let's get into this video. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Old School Skip Challenges, episode number ninety-six. I'm here with Jensen Vitoso, the man himself. I'm all right. Dave, I've just noticed you? you got a DHL on. I don't respect DHL. that. I don't respect that. Couple of things before we get into the video, boys. I apologise, this video is taking quite a while to get out. I've had some difficulty with my computer. I've had to factory reset it, everything that's been right there. But we're back now. We're, we're sorted, Jen. Sorted. Um, if the video looks a bit different and the quality and all that has changed a bit, I'm still trying. I'm still messing with the settings because obviously everything's reset. So apologise for that as well. Episode 100 is just around the corner. So if you have any suggestions, Post them in the comments and also message us on Twitter. We will we read every single comment, all right? But Twitter is probably the best way to go in terms of suggestions. Now, I'm not saying it's 100% certain. We haven't asked anyone and we're not mentioning names. But if we can get other content creators on board for episode 100, we will definitely try. Uh, if you are a content creator and you want to get involved, hit us up on Twitter. Now, today we have the Iron Man Deathmatch. Heavily requested from the start. Never done it. Gent, there's three rules, all right? Go on, hit them. Pitch, three rules. Pitch me. Four hour time limit, okay? Fresh off Tutorial Island, your time limit starts when you start recording, all right? Fresh Iron Man with the objective of winning the fight. So basically what we're going to do is train up the Iron Man for four hours, head into the wilderness and fight each other. Loser receives a forfeit. Winner is the victor. So in, in that four hours, we do have to get gear set up and an in bed. In that four hours, we have to get food, gear, trainer stats, everything. Money make. Obviously, Iron Man already has rules set in place. That's why I've only I've only got three rules. As usual, boys and girls, tap the like button gently if you want to, and we'll Just get into the feel. video. Give it a stroke. Give it a stroke. We'll get into the video, Jen. Let's go. Right, boys and girls. I have decided to start in Edgeville. There is a reason for that. I'll get to it. The, the way I'm thinking about this challenge, right, is we have to carefully pick what quests we do and what skills we do. The aim is to win the fight. So, in my honest opinion, yes, I could go for Waterfall Quest, but is it worth it for those two? I don't think so. Because one, you're probably not going to get a Rune Skimmy, and two, you probably end up with a Myth Skim or an Addy Skim. So, I'm going to go for the, the Magic approach, okay? Magic is going to be the best possible thing I can do, in my opinion. Um, I forgot that I needed food. This is the only food I've got. But I'm actually going to go into the wilderness. Classic IMR moneymaker. Steel plate bodies. Try get a lot of them. Honestly, try get a lot. Go to Varrock, sell them all. Buy gear. Buy food. Buy runes. That's the plan. Oh, boys, can you hear that? Take it in. Breathe it in. Mm. Come on, boys. Oh, 
Right, shut up. Ladies and gentlemen, how are we all doing? My name is Jensen, I'm here for the challenge, I am ready. So, um, gonna give you a quick overview of what I'm thinking. Timer in the bottom right corner, got a genie, he helped me out. Nice one, genie lad. Um, we're gonna start timer in a minute. I'm gonna start off by pickpocketing men, as we usually do. Then we're gonna move over to the cakes in RD. Not figured out I'm gonna get there yet. We'll work that out when it comes to it, but I'm thinking straight up to RD and thieves when cakes up because that's gonna be our best food, I'm pretty sure, for the fight. So I wanna get that out of the way first and then we'll start thinking about how we can train up. I might have to make my way to RD in a minute, but we'll give these a go. We'll start the timer and we'll get on with it. This should be five thieving, boom. We can now go to the cake stall. 150 GP for that. I need to get my way to RD now and obviously there is a reason for us starting in Edgeville. We're gonna head over here, and if my game knowledge is perfect, which it is, then I might end up in Edgeville, but I'm gonna end up in RD right now. Hello? Hello? Hello! Cake store, where you at? Right, I've just collected my second invent of cakes. We're already 13 minutes in, but we do have 12 even. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to give the steel plate to go and just see what happens. I honestly look like I'm ready for war. I'm too good at the game. Five thieving and I'm three minutes in. Who's stopping me? Dave? Stopping me? You stopping me yet, Dave? David? Hello? Dave? You stopping? Right, lads. We've used the Castle Wars teleport on the way to RD. There's these actual uh, super anti-poisons. So I'm going to stock up on a few of these. Jensen! Why are you getting the super anti poisons when you're level 3 and you just started the game? Trust me, boys, I've got a plan. Honestly, about an hour of this video is going to be walking. Just don't let me attend, everyone's happy. This is where it gets interesting. I could die here, and if I do, I'd be very upset. They hit fours, they hit fours, they hit threes. Right, boys and girls, this is what we're after. But the issue is, everyone's doing it. Every single person is doing this right now. For example, if I go to 38, there won't be a steel plate here. Okay. Apparently there's a steel plate here. So we'll go to 39 and there won't be a steel plate here. Right, boys, want some uh, BRB. I logged in. I logged in. I press escape to get to the invent, but obviously it's different F keys and I didn't eat. Come on, Orvik, how much are you giving me, mate? How much are you giving me? Just sell them all. Whoa, 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 what? I thought I was going to get about 1.2k. Right, we're upgrading the gear. We're upgrading the gear, boys. I am going to go for the Staff of Air. But I will need a Fire Staff as well, I think. Uh, what I'm also going to do is buy some clothes while I'm here, just so I lock the part. I don't actually think these give any Mage Bonus at all. But I'm going to buy them anyway. Just when I go in to fight Jen, I look, I look like I mean a bit of business. Do I even get any mage bonus from this? Nope, but I look like a wizard, it's fine. Alright, we've got one and a half anti-poisons. As I said, I'll leave those for later. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, i got one and a half anti-poisons, as you can see. Everything's going in the bank. Uh, we're going to leave that for later on, I think. Um, usually that's like wasted runecraft and XP, but, uh, you know, consider it's a new account, it's an Iron Man. Um, we'll get things cracking. These some cakes, and then I'm going to come up with some kind of absolutely unbelievable plan on how we can come up with a good setup in a timely manner with good stats in order to beat Dave with a decent setup. And yeah, all right, we've just gone and done about three invents of uh, cakes, so we're now hello 12 thieving, but we do have 12 thieving. Uh, heading back to Lumbridge now, I'm going to run over to Varrock. Whilst we're there, we're going to get our 10k from the Stronghold Security. Um, and then once we've got that, I'll then go through what my plan is so far, boys. And <laughs> you're going to love it, trust me. I'm thinking outside the box, as always. Here we go. We made it to the centre um, after setting up my own authenticator. Nice one, Jagex pal. 10k in the back pocket. You probably expected it. I'm not even going to bother going for the boots because... Um, I'm not about that life, not about the rainbow boots. So the plan of action is this, you probably guessed it already, but I'm gonna use the 10K to buy runes, right? Lads, I know what you're thinking, Jen, I don't wanna see you doing waterfall and oh, Dave, I can't, I can't commentate the minute, Dave, I just can't do it, it's me off, I can't do it. Right boys, with the 10K, you're probably thinking, Jen, what is the plan of action? Let me, let me, let me fulfill your greatest desires, boys and girls, right? 
So I know for a fact Dave's going to go, oh my god, I'm going to spend the four hours doing waterfall quests and I'm going to be doing uh, Witch's House to get levels. What's the point in doing that? When you spend all your time getting these 40 attack, oh 40 strength, 40 defense, you've got no you've got no armor, boys. Where's your armor? Where's your items? How are you gonna be doing damage to me? So instead, I'm not gonna be doing all that basic, basic bit shit. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. I've decided I'm not doing it. I'm going to train my magic literally as much as possible, as much as I possibly can. The goal of that is I've predicted that Dave's gonna walk in there with his like iron or steel armor or whatever and his like shitty skin. He's gonna go fire giants for three hours and not get anything right essentially i'm just gonna be there bind boom see you later mate maybe even snare if i can get my magic level that high i'm just firing with everything i've got boys so essentially i'm gonna buy some runes probably head to lava drags or just train up a little bit first and then head to lava drags in a bit uh get some decent drops sell those rinse and repeat rinse, rinse and repeat Trying it again Honestly, three and a half K for three plates. If I can get out of here with literally like 24 plates, I'm laughing. I'm going to pay attention this time and I'm going to come out successful. I can pick up my stuff, right? Because I see 3K sat on the floor, you know what I mean? The last deal plate. Look at my invent. I'm not going to get greedy. This is this has got to be over 20K. So I'm as soon as he moves, I'm getting that and I'm getting out of here with 6 cakes. I, there's no way I'm risking it. Price check him, Dave. Go on, price check him. 22k. Woo! Woo! Hoo -hoo! What are you saying? Value. You're buying for 1.2k each. 26k. 26k. We're 47 minutes in. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where am I, London? Bloody hell, what's going on here? Just buy 2,000, Dave. Why not just buy 2,000 gas? 2,000 gas! Lad, why are you... What are you doing? Lad, get off me! Waste, man! Get away! What's that, Zaf? 60 battle staffs? Oh, no, pal. Sorry, not here for battle staff today. Fire staffs, pal. See you later. 1.5k. Hello. Thessalia. Long time no see, darling. How are we doing? Uh, I'm looking for your finest gowns. There's a pink skirt there. Do I get the pink or do I get the blue one? I get a priest gown. Fire. Blue skirt. Fire. Oh my god, we're winning. We're winning. No prisoners. I take no prisoners. All the men in Varrock are getting it. I mean, the spells. They're not getting anything else, trust me. No, no, no. no. All right, I'm just going to hang around around here for a bit. Um, get a couple kills. Essentially, um, I'm going to use a lot of the runes up till we get Fire Strike. That's the first goal. So I've switched over to do defensive casting as well. I don't know whether it's actually going to be worth it or whether I should just train it manually, but. The reasoning behind that is, right, I'm going to tell you my grand plan. Right, so 10 defense and 20 magic, you can actually wear the Zerishian robes. We'll call them the frog robes because they're green. We can wear frog robes, boys, at 20 magic and 10 defense. So my, my thinking is, if I can get 20 uh, magic, 10 defense, I'm pretty sure you can kill the shamans for the, um, the fabric because they're aggroed by the soldiers and you can just kind of tag them and then I need 22 crafting to make myself some Zeri- Zeri- Zerishi- Frog robes! Frog robes! To get some frog robes. Instead of fanning around getting combat gear, we can pretty much just focus entirely on getting our maze level up until sort of the later stages where we decide, YOLO boys, let's get a couple of the chaos runes in there, head over to the, uh, the shamans, get our fabric and then also level up our crafting. So we walk into the fight with full Xerix robes, the- the- the, the beefy- Beefy, oh. I'm having a nightmare, I'm having a nightmare. 40 minutes in, we're going to go ahead and get some steel plate bodies now from the wilderness to sell those to the store for a bit of cash. So then we can go ahead, get our maze level up and also get our crafting up to 22 like I did say in the first place. So this is going to be good boys, I've, I'm, I'm quietly confident about this. 2.1k mind runes and 4.1k air runes. So I think I've still got money in the bank so I can still buy a staff of fire but I'm just going to go kill imps now so I can complete imp catcher and get the amulet of accuracy which gives a plus four magic bonus. I've done my research and then we'll move on to the witch's house which will get us around 26 HP, 2k in the bank. We get the robes out, Harry Potter Dave to call me and let's get down to business. Check. Now we just need to get to Ardy again. I'm going to head down towards Nightmare Zone, kill the imps. Get all four beads, go to Longbridge, get the amulet, and then we will move on to other things. The goal, by the end of this this four hours, Firebolt. 
That's the goal. Firebolt. Boom. 13s, I think it's 13s. He won't know what's in him, all right? 35 mage is the goal. Hopefully, I'll get these beads soon because this is a five off the bat. I mean, look at that. Ashes, ashes, ashes. Ashes to ashes. Rest to rest. I'm getting heated here, lads. Yes, we are 20 mage, but in 20 minutes, we're going to... I'll just stop right in my tracks. That is all we needed. I was going to say, this is taking me like... I've been doing this like 40 minutes. and I, Well, 50, I don't even know. Just got the yellow bead. Right, we're going to go to the, the amulet of accuracy. And then we're going to do the witch's house, which will get us about 28 HP. And then we are on to bigger, better things. There you go. I've got your beads for you. Just put them on a string. And um, actually, we'll leave that on there. We won't go into what I was about to say. <sighs> Just don't tie them together, lad. Because we all know where them beads go. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you very much for the amulet of accuracy. We whacked that on. We got 21 mage as well. We head over to Drainer Village, and we get the the book that was added that I, I see people with. But, yeah. Right, this basically is a teleport to the rock near enough. So, we're just going to buy... It's a bit risky. We'll buy four. We charge the book. We wield it. Do we get any stats from this? Nope. But it looks cool. Right, we're approaching the Almart now. Uh, we've pretty much got a full invent. Of the steel bodies from the wilderness, so we're gonna head and sell these to be good pal Horvik. How have we been, pal? Not seen you in a while. Where is he? There he is, you blonde bastard. Right, a quarter of our way through, we're selling our last two plate bodies now, which is gonna put us close to 30k, which isn't too bad whatsoever. So we're gonna go ahead over to the charter ships now, buy ourselves some soda ash and some seaweed, whatever we can get our hands on to start making the molten glass. Um, that way we can get our crafting to 22, then head over, get our green robes, and we are flying. Lads, as you can see, the bank's looking pretty filthy. 170 sand, 170 soda ash. We're going to go bash these out, uh, make ourselves some molten glass, make ourselves some beer glasses. Cheers. Then we're going to... That'll get us 22, I'm pretty sure. Then I think we're going to work on our magic training a little bit more and also we need 10 defense so we can actually wear the green fucking robe shit. Then hopefully for the rest of the time we'll just tank maze training. That's the plan. My name's Jensen and I forgot to buy a glass bow in pipe. Take advantage of the rules. That's what you got to do nowadays to win these. 22 grafting achieved. Uh, look at that. Green frog robe tops. Right, so we just come to Widen, my friend, in Port Sarim, and got ourselves two blocks of cheese. So when we do the witch's house, we've got those already. I'm not going to do that now. I'm going to get my mage up, up a little bit more. Then we'll get uh, the witch on the phone um, till I put the kettle on, because fucking Barrow's Elm's coming storming, lads. Yeah, that's it. Worship me, boys. Worship me, boys. Worship. The challenge champion in the flesh. I'm gonna give a speech, boys. We will fight them on the beaches. We will fight them on the shores. He may take the challenge, but he shall never take freedom. Honestly, look at this. It's the biggest circle jerk in existence. Stick a Brazzers logo on this, and you're sorted, lad. Hey up, mate. Right, we're gonna absolutely smash out this quest so quick. <laughs> hey up. Didn't know they have genos in here. There we go, we got the ball in the back pocket. We'll go give it over to this lad there. Legend has it, he's the next Alan Shearer actually. 28, I'll take 28. 25, I've been robbed, I've been robbed. We're going to go do the stronghold of security with my book. Teleport, where does this take me? Very nice, very, very nice. Box of Elf, that's what Jen's going to be needing when I'm fire blasting him. See? We're not here to mess about. We've come here for the fancy boots. We've come here for the fancy boots. Give me the colourful ones. Thank you very much. Jen is not standing a chance. We've got 10k. So what we're going to do now is teleport back to Verox, sort of. I'm going to go do one more invent of steel plates. Just in case. I'm going to keep some money in the bank just in case I do manage to hit 41. So obviously I'll be using death runes then. But... The goal is 35 for the fireball, and we're already 22, and it'll go up so quickly. There we go, boys. 30 mage. Going to plod on until we get about 35. I reckon I can get that. Within the next 20 sort of minutes, which will be... Uh, well, that'll be ideal. That's what we're aiming for. Then, quickly on to the witch's house. Smash that out. Get ourselves the green frog robes. Uh, sort ourselves some food out for the fight, and then just smash uh, training for the rest of the remaining time. 
Um, hello, Wizard Crompty. I'm putting you out of business, pal. 35 mate. See you later, pal. Right, gonna get some chaos... Oh my god, sorry, pals. Gonna go get some chaos runes so we can do the witch's house. BRB. Here is the completion of the witch's house. There's your ball, sunshine. Thank you very much. Enjoy that. I'll, in I'll enjoy the HP, XP. 25 HP. I think now is the time we conquer the green frog robes. Let's go Let's go ahead over now. Right, we made it here. Honestly, I hate having low agility. Hate having not staminas. What am I talking about, Jim? What are you talking about? Hate not having agility, boys. I hate not having bloody staminas because it's just effort running around. We're here. We're at the Shazian house. Do you know what I mean? Big up Shazian massive. You feel me? Healing up some of these soldiers, doing me rounds, doing me bits for charity, getting me percentage up for 5% so we can kill the lizard men. That's the goal. In and out, boys. We get our stuff. I also forgot. I do need 10 defense. And uh, the time is not looking... It's not looking healthy, boys. So uh, I've probably got to prioritize that a little bit. Uh, so I'll probably do that first. And then I might even have to get a bit more money uh, so I can afford some nature runes because I've not got a lot of money left in the bank. Hello. My name is C Engineer. And welcome to TYC. <laughs> Sorry, Mitch Jackson. Ooh, I am... Feel. <laughs> right, okay, this is the last one. Look at my invent. Look at my invent. This is like 30k. Right, we made it out successfully. Horvick, sort me out. Right, okay, so that is the plate sold. 32.7k from that. And we are 22 mage, so now I need something very good to kill. Mate, we've got 10k in the bank as well. We've got 43k. We've got 43k and we've got all these runes here. This is basically our home for the next 1 hour and 30 minutes. I do need to buy the rest of my runes and the pots. The pots? The food. Now the good thing is, Jen would not have thought of this. If you head over to Brimhaven here, you see this little sign there? Food shop, mate. You know what food they sell? Karambwans. I think they sell sharks, I think. If they don't, they sell Karambwans. Just said that. Swordfish, lobsters, I mean, it's, it is what it is, you know what I mean, like it's a done deal, Jen's done, he's done. Oh Jen, I still don't, I don't understand Jen why you were wasting time earlier getting a super anti-poison, I don't know what you need it for, Um, what do lizards do, anti-poison, I've been planning it from the start, I've just David Blaine you all, this is where, you know, we spent three hours, you know, the fruits of our labours start to come into fruitation, and this is the moment where um, we get one banged, and uh, there we go. Incy wincy spider, climb down the spout. Don't you attack me or we will have it out. And I will cast a fire strike on you. And then I will win this challenge video too. They're not attacking me. That is really nice. Zerishian robes are coming with me tonight. <laughs> Lads, I'm doing it. Lads, I'm doing it. Right, come on, boys. Come on, soldiers. Do something. Do some damage. They're not They're not aggressive. They're not even aggressive. Right, I've actually done defensive casting, so we could probably get the 10 defense here while we're trying to get the bloody hides. I'm not killing them that quick. I'm worried now. I need 12. There we go. First bit of fabric. Thank you very much, my friend. Right, lads. Thank God for that. We are done. Um, I didn't get all 12. I got 9, which is what we need for the body and the bottoms. Um, it turns out, after a bit of research, the hat is actually pretty much the same as one of the ones you can buy from the Gnome Stronghold. So I might just nip there instead. I think that'll be quicker because it was taking a little bit of a while. I think we were there for about 20 minutes. So, uh, But yeah, we were getting mage XP, so it wasn't all uh, gone to waste. Um, I'll have just the one body, please. Thank you. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look. I'm committing criminal activities and there's no one around to stop me. Look at me. All right, we've collected ourselves a couple steel plate bodies, enough for a few K. Uh, we'll head back over to Varrock, sell these to our good man Horvick, uh, get him some supplies in. There we are, I can't be bothered hopping anymore. 20K boys, let's go grab ourselves our runes. Right, let's buy ourselves some nature runes for those cheeky little snares. How many is it per cast? Is it one or two? Two, we'll buy four. You won't need any more than that. 40 of these bad boys. Yeah, that'll do. We're buzzing. Lads, we're sorted. I'll buy some law runes so we can actually teleport somewhere, which would be fucking ideal. Uh, and then we're on our way, lads. Ladies and gents, uh, we've got about 20 minutes left. At this point, it's probably pretty pointless me doing much training. Uh, there's nothing I really unlock. I don't even know if I get a max hit or anything like that. 
However, uh, I do need some food, so what I'm going to do now is head over to the guy who sells pies in the pub in um, Sears Village because the heal 12 as the cakes, but cakes, you have to eat three, like three, three clicks like that, whereas pies are only two. So I'm thinking, boys, the less time I spend eating, the more time I spend casting spells like a wizard, you know what I mean? 23, 24, 25, and 26 mage coming in. I'll update you on every level because I feel like I'm going to be training for an hour and a half and you're not actually going to see anything between now and uh, like 3 hours and 50 minutes. So I'll update you on every level. 27 hit points. 28 magician. 29 Harry Potter land. 30 Hermione's. 31 Ron Weasley's. In the building. 28. Splash points. We're becoming strong. I mean, my goal was 35 mage and we've still got over an hour left. So, we're definitely going to be fireballing that little ginger. 32 talking hats. You know what I'm on about. Slithering ting. 33 uh, Draco Malv... 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 Malfoy. Draco... Draco... Mal Malfoy. Malfoy. That's the one. Get hair like an acorn, any? Yeah, that's the one, Malfoy. Yeah, yeah, that one, yeah, Malfoy. Slivering, yeah, he's a bit of a snake, isn't he? Bit of a snake, like Gen Z, a little bit. You best bet. I just got a twenty-nine hit point and missed it. Thirty-four. G Garg. What's his name? What's his name? The Garg. Garg guy. The. G the. You know the fat one that eats the donuts. God. Oh, what's his name? What's his name? Gregory Goyle. Gregory Goyle. Might as well just call him Gargoyle at this point, aren't you? <laughs> okay, I'm about to hit 35 mage, which will allow me to fireball. So what I think I'm going to do is go buy all the brands from the shop that I can. See how much money we've got left. Bank enough runes for the fight. And then use some of the runes as well. Um, and try push for 41. 35 mage, we can now cast f -f 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 Fireball, just an example of what this thing can do. BOOM! It's a 9, no problem. We're gonna go bank all our stuff, head over and buy the food. Alfonso the waiter. 300 each, my god. Right boys and girls, this is gonna be the food for the fight. Lots of caramba blah blah brands. And a lot of swordfish, so we'll head back. We've got 18.9k left to spend on runes. I don't think I'll hit 41, but I'm going to give it a go. At this point, we've only got half an hour left, so I'm just training on whatever that is. Yes, it's not very efficient, but we're not going to lock any new spells. Uh, and we might as well get some defense XP. The, the thing that's annoying me now is... If I spent less time making money, because I, I don't need all these. If I spent less time making money, I probably could have hit 41 and done Windblast, which could be the difference between winning and losing this video. Honestly, I don't know what Jen's doing, so it's a complete surprise to me. But even still, I still think we're quite strong. We're doing all right. We're going to get 38 mage and we're going to get 31 hit points. There is 14 defense, we've got 2 minutes left, so I will use the final charge in that. Buy a couple of chaos runes, and we are good to go. We are done. I'll uh, go to the bank now, gear up, and show you what we are rocking. Right here, we are basically at the end of the 4 hours. We have obtained 5 quest points. 14 defense, 31 hit points, 39 magic, just shy of the uh, the wind blast, which is a shame. But we can go into battle with the firebolt. We have 235 cast, and we've got some backup mind runes. We've got 18 karabababababans, 7 swordfish, and this is the gear. we got the amulet of accuracy, we got the chef hat, that is going to win it for us. And uh, I think we're going to have to meet up with Jen. Right, there are all the pies bought. Now, we're going to go ahead, uh, while we're here, pass to the Gnome Stronghold, which is just on the way, and get ourselves a Wizard Helm. 
you know, we can at least look intimidating, even though we probably aren't with 37 Mage. I mean, I'm, I'm concerned now as to what Dave's done, because if Dave's done the same thing as I have and gone for the Mage approach, then the binds and shit like that are probably irrelevant. So that would not be ideal. If he did take the mage route, he probably wouldn't have got this. I can already guarantee you that. Which means he'd probably spend a lot more time training. Which again, isn't great. But then again, is he going to be able to get like, what, 47 for water blast? That's probably the, the best kind of spell. Um, which he could probably train towards in that amount of time. But boys, we'll see. Hopefully he doesn't use range or mage. Just said hello to our friend Rel though. He sorted out with a pink cape and also some uh, grey boots. I mean, that did set us about 1.5k. But we can spend the last on a little wizard at. Our setup is complete. We're looking fine. We're looking suave. Rometty, my friend, a fancy a green at just to go with the gear setup. I was thinking about going for the accuracy, the army of accuracy, but that's pretty much out the window considering the fact that um, man ain't hunting imps for a living. Do you know what I mean? So let's go get our gear set up. There's not really much else I can do with four minutes left. And here it is. Here's what we're here. Here it is, boys. Here is what we're rocking with. As you saw before, the standard gear setup, nice little grey boots there, nice little hat like that. Feeling feeling very uh, Hagrid-like at the minute. Water runes, standard runes, we've got our cheeky little um, binds on the go. Five seconds, but trust me boys, all it takes is five seconds. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way through. Try and spot me, and I'll try and spot you. Well, I say try, I know where you're going to be. So I disguise myself in the bank. Oh my god, what are them robes? <laughs> Whoa, what are them robes? Green frog robes, mate. Zerishian, man. You don't How, how'd you get them? Dave, I'm fing on another level to the other guys. I told you. They give you an age bonus, don't they? Essentially. Oh, no. What? Oh. <laughs> Jen, let's just get into it. Oh, my God. I'm not even looking What's you that up. That you? I'm not, no, I'm not telling you. Stop following me then. Get off. Wait, let me get my attack on. Yeah, I'm getting away from you. Right, Jen, you ready? I'm ready. Four hours. Four hours. Get ready to click me, yeah? I'm gonna click you. Yeah, three, two, one. Da, 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 oh, it's just, it's just da, da, the same though, isn't it? We just matched. Depends on food though, doesn't it? Food's not an issue, I told you that. I don't know what food you got. See, it's not an issue, Jen. You didn't get XP drops, do you? No. Oh, that's that's an issue, actually, because I don't know when the KO potential is. Oh. Might have them little green frog groves, lad, but they ain't protecting you from these. They ain't doing shit. Oh, a 10? I'm dead. What do you mean you're dead? I think it's more of a question of who has more chaos runes. God, tell me what food you got. The food I bought fucked me over. Wait. The food! <laughs> what do you mean, the food? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, the food? The meat <laughs> Lad, you spam click the food, right? <laughs> you can eat it, but it's not <laughs> So I couldn't fucking attack you. <laughs> You've just spent four hours for that. <laughs> oh my god, what food did you Jenna, have? Jenna, I only used one. <laughs> what food did you have? I had seven swordfish in um, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, eighteen Quran ones. How the f did you get them? Game knowledge. I'm fishing, lad. I'm fishing. Lad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what I didn't realise is, if you spam click them, right, which I was doing... <laughs> Stops you like it uses all the ticks, lad. I don't know how it works. That's that's all analogy. It uses all the ticks. So I'm spam clicking you, and it's, it's not attacking you. I have to wait like a certain period if I've spam clicked the food. What? Well, it doesn't matter. You KO'd me now anyway because I would have I would have lost. I couldn't keep up. Number one, you had better food than me. Number two, so you couldn't keep up because you weren't returning any damage, mate. <laughs> exactly. Right, boys and girls. Cause Dave, myself, victorious. I am on a winning streak. Four hours. I've won like seven in a row, Jen. No, you've not. You've won like two in a row. What you want about? Because Jen lost, we're heading over to the forfeit table. And Jen, little fun fact for you. We're halfway. Wait, you're oh, yeah, halfway. Yeah. You're yeah. halfway. There's, there's six left and there's six used. So there's six right. blanks on there now. I'll probably hit a blank anyway. Jen, just not yawn on my video. Sorry. Pick a number one to four, eight to see. 
Um, 2C. 2C? Yeah. I can tell you, Jim, that it is a hit. It's Alk Random Item. That's so, not a good one. How is that a good one? What this means, boys and girls, is Jen has to go to his gear tab in his bank, get 10 items. Obviously, he's not going to get an item worth like 20k. It's going to have some bit of wealth to it. Right. So he's going to go get 10 items. I'm going to pick a number 1 to 10, 1 to 4 across, and then what will be 5 to 8, and then there'll be 2 underneath it, 1 to 10. Jen, go to your bank. I'm off. Jensen has returned with his 10 items. Can you confirm that they are, you know, 1 to 4, left to right, Jen? Yeah, they're all there, 10 items. Right, I'm going to do some maths for you. I'm just going to say, Dave, there's one massive item in there, which I'm slightly shitting it. The rest are meh. There's one, and there's another like one or two which are, which I don't want to lose, pretty much. Yeah, as long as you've got a couple items in there over a mill, I'm happy, because I know that you're struggling for money. I am, I am at the minute, yeah. Well, I, I, I suppose you are struggling when you saw that uh, that ward for 22 mil. And what is it now? A, a, 80? Dave, moving on. Come on, don't ask questions. A, 80 mil? This isn't my number. That's right. Number three? Yeah. Plus three? Yeah. Plus... One. <laughs> What's the number, Jen? Can we seven. just confirm? Seven. Seven, correct, yes. So do you want me out that? Number seven, yeah, shall get. I think that up. What? It doesn't matter. Right, it's going. Gone, I want to see it gone. It's gone. Thank you very much for watching this week's episode of Old Scoring Script Challenges. Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to drop a like, subscribe, all that jazz. Check out Geno's channel over at Vitoso. Check out my channel. Have a little browse. Investigate. Delve into the gold mine. You might find some <laughs> gold mine. You might be prospecting in the gold mine, but you'll be pros prospecting gold for this golden content. <laughs> oh my gosh. See ya. <laughs>